So uh, great, I'm live here on YouTube channel and I'm also recording this on the podcast. So if you want to watch this later, you can or hear it later or on your trip to, to take it, you can watch it uh, or hear it, I guess, uh, in most cases. So normally before tech it, I would try to, to go through some of the sessions that I do find as, as the most interesting ones and share those with, with the audience. I didn't have time to do that before uh, Las Vegas, but uh, right now I did have the time uh, at least to, to give some insight about what was the sessions I did find was, was the most interesting, uh, what was going on and uh, yeah, some of my, my key takeaways from, from it. Um, yeah, so if you're watching live, uh, do post, post some questions into the chat. Uh, I'll try to see if I can answer them. So obviously, TechEd is uh, yeah a developer-centric uh, area where you would see a lot of things going on with uh, with development, and uh, so thank you. So yeah, uh, my main focus is obviously integration, and it had a huge. Uh, there was a large impact on that in the keynote because obviously if you're creating all of these different apps that SAP has, the only way they are going to be successful is if they have an easy way for you to integrate. And then you also have the pattern that there's a lot more different uh, integration patterns going on that you need to be able to support in an easy way. So, so that means that the, the complexities goes up uh, together with uh, what uh, else is, is going on. So, um, yeah, if, if you wanted uh, to, to check out my, my list, my review of all the things that, that I think was the most interesting, on uh, Subticket uh, Las Vegas, there's a link in the bio. Let me just show you it. Um, here, if I can switch to the display, wrong display. Seems like it is moving the wrong window. That was not planned. It's where it was working before. There we are. Okay. <laughs> So um, yeah, uh, on live things, something like this happens. Um, so I've described a little about what what the different things is. Uh, we have a lot about the, all the cloud applications, the API, uh, what was going on there uh, in that perspective, uh, API management, API and open uh, connectors. Um, and then something about the PO and that obviously has a large impact be for customers because yeah, how the the roadmap of that is going on and what's going to, to happen to, to the PO stack. Um, so that was, if you just wanted to, the, the key takeaway, that would be the place to get it. You can find it in show notes, uh, also on the, the podcast. Um, but if you're going, you probably would like, like to know what are some of the cool sessions that you want to attend. And I think, so... One of the cool things that they have added is, uh, if you look at the, the agenda, they have added one thing here that, that's called learning journeys. Uh, and also up in the link here, you can find a longer description of the learning journeys. But here we have two for integration, out of the box integration um, and data processing in a hybrid landscape and a master data integration. And master data integration is the data hub, which also is a pretty interesting uh, topic, but a lot different from, from what I'm used to uh, to deal with. So uh, yeah, there's some, some challenge about where, where to focus. I would obviously focus on the data integration and process because that is where I'm coming from. Uh, and that's where I've been adding sessions. But I think at, at uh, Las Vegas, I was just adding both of these two or you can take it from the session track and add it. And then you can find out where, which of them makes sense in your landscape. Um, so the, the things I've, I've added is, uh, I think it's really interesting, is, is uh, INT 102 um, with Katrin van Aassen. Uh, I think at uh, Las Vegas, I think this was hosted a couple of three times, something like that. And this is about what is the overall blueprint? What is uh, does SAP have of their uh, in the integration suite? What are they expecting to use? 
and how the the whole thing is is unfolding. Um, there's uh, one o int one one, which is an overview of the the platform as a service offering on cloud platform integration, and and this is so they have taken all of these applications and uh, in cloud platform, bundled them together, and created that as as a service offering. So that would just be cloud platform integration services or something like that, that that covers all of these different things. But it's pretty interesting to understand what the, the reason is for this. Uh, I is also speaking about becoming an influencer CS. 100 so uh, remember to add that one a community showcase and a code review so that will be uh, be interesting what's going on there um i have added one uh, hands-on session uh int 360 which is uh, extending cloud solution with workflow and integration which uh, i'd like to, to look a little, little more about how the the workflow will, will work on and what you can do in that uh, perspective. Um, one other workshop I really, or hands up workshop I really think was interesting in Las Vegas was the the INT 366 uh, integration of business partner B2B uh, leveraging uh, integration as a service. So this is where you would uh, try out how to use the, the cloud platform integration um and the so the edi conversion in in that one plus the capabilities of um, uh, integration content advisor what it actually works uh, works like uh, and i think that is actually the, the core topic of this how integration content advisor works what it is how you can use it and I think that's the, the, the easy way to get access to, to some of the things that are happening and just be able to see, okay, so this is what they're adding and this had these uh, capabilities. So that one I definitely recommend to understand what's going on there. Um, yeah, so the, the PO roadmap is interesting, the API, so all the, the roadmaps for, for these things is, is pretty interesting. Um, I also think this one was a pretty interesting one. AI N304, uh, craft and execute your di digital strategy with APIs and subs cloud platform by Hirsch Jägerdahl's son. That's probably pronounced <laughs> wrong, but... Uh, I attended a, something around the same area from, from him or this one. And it was pretty interesting because or a little about how this API management work. Why do you want to create APIs and what is it that it does and explore it and stuff like that. So I think that is uh, an interesting one. Uh, and he presented the other one pretty nicely. Um, actually, I think I do have something at this time, so I'll probably not make it. Um, yeah, PO roadmap, uh, monetize your APIs, uh, and and de design your APIs. That would oh, that's a code jam uh, session. Then we have this one again, process orchestration roadmap two times, and then there's an integration made easy by Udo. Uh, I'll probably not make that one either. Um, so I think that was the, the key things that, the, so there's, yeah, go to, to the, the, the session, look at the, the tracks, and then check out uh, the, the one that, that makes most sense for you. Add them all on your agenda, and then when, when time comes, you can check out the, so in, in the app, you can download the, the presentation, you can see what it is and see if there's anything in it you want, or you can just say, okay, skip it. Uh, I've read the presentation, it's good, and I can go get some, some coffee. Um, then some of the other things I haven't covered is obviously Data Hub would be interesting, some of the HANA services that are going on. Uh, if you're into the cloud, uh, App up in the cloud, um, the blockchain and IoT. I haven't um, been that much into to those things, but I think they also serve a, a great purpose, and that will be something that would be pretty useful in in some scenarios. 
Um, yeah, the, the integration as a suite, uh, obviously all of those different products, how they interact um, uh, together. So um, that was actually all the the um, the educational content that I wanted to share. Um, so yeah, if if you find me, do grab a hold of me, uh, and say hi and say what what you would like to hear your thoughts about what's going on in the integration space. That's how I'm I'm educating myself. So I am I'm not sure how many sessions I'll be joining, but let's see. Uh, otherwise, I'll be in the, the coffee corner or something like that and uh, hanging out. Uh, so, yeah, if you're there, tweet me um, or text me or email. Uh, let's uh, have a chat. Um, then, I guess, just uh, for the party, that usually on Wednesday night usually is, is quite fun. So, uh, that's definitely also something to, to to look out for. And then we got the, the keynote uh, Tuesday morning, which uh, will be interesting, which movie, if any, they will be uh, presenting and using as uh, as the theme for, 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 for the keynote. So I think the last uh, three, four keynotes by Bjorn Gerke, he has been using some uh, theme from... Uh, from a movie and shared uh, SAP technology in relating to that. So that will be interesting to see if you will follow up on, on that and try that again. Um, so uh, yes, um, I think that was all I wanted to share in this uh, this podcast. Uh, just a short one to so you can get uh, get started uh, on your your planning of. Uh, this the session but you have definitely check out these uh, two learning journeys that makes it a lot easier to choose the content uh, so i think that is really useful that they've added it in just one place where you can figure out ah oh, this is what i want to check out and and then uh, check out uh, those those contents um yes that was all uh if we meet in barcelona i'm really looking forward to see you there uh, otherwise, have a fantastic uh, trip and uh, yeah, see you then. Bye. And if you are watching this on, on YouTube, uh, do let me know. Give me a thumb, thumbs up if you, you like this. If there was anything I was missing, uh, do put it in. I'll uh, put the, the show notes and some of these sessions into the... Um, comments once I got it up. So thanks for watching.